Here at the Brighton Toy and Model Museum, right beneath the bowels of the old Victorian station building, lies one of the most comprehensive collections of model trains in the country. These rather old looking models are a pride of a man named Wenman Joseph Bassett Loke, who pioneered the craft in the UK. Back in these days, modelling was a rich man's hobby, and models were mainly vanity items, reflecting great pride in early British engineering. Thanks to toy making legend Frank Hornby, model trains became smaller, more compact, and more like toys, opening them up to a middle class market. This mass production introduced them to many more people, creating hobbyists and enthusiasts all over. Communities and clubs formed of people who held on to that childhood passion and wanted to create something brilliant. I'm headed to a top secret location, the clubhouse of the Crawley Model Railway Society, one of the largest of many hobbyist clubs in the Sussex area. I want to find out a little bit more about railway modelling and why exactly it interests people. Here we are in Crawley Town Centre, next to the old signal box. Much enthusiasm for the railways has built up around towns like this, but it's steeped in its history. The Crawley Model Railway Society have been around for over 50 years and attract members from all over the Sussex area. I've been invited to one of their evening meetings on Friday, but due to their large collection of expensive equipment, they don't really want their location to be made public, so sorry about this. Alright, so we're here at the clubhouse. Um, about to head in. Naturally, the club's layouts are what I had noticed right off the bat. Layouts are modelers' jargon for an arrangement of track, which there are five up here at the club. Some members come down to the club just to run their trains around in these layouts, while some are actively involved in developing and modeling new ones. I had a meeting with the chairman of the club, Mark Burton who is to tell me a little more about the history and the community of the club itself. I joined the club many years ago, too many to, uh, to think about really. Um, Position of chairman came up, and I decided that I wanted to do that to uh, do something for the club. Having spent many years here, how you helped with the construction of these layouts then? Yeah, uh, um, most layouts I've had a hand in, in one way or another. So they would work in, or a bit of scenery work. They all have a bit of your handiwork in them. Yeah. Uh, has, has the club changed much over the time you've been here? Would you say? Well, you know, when I first joined, it wasn't in this present hut. We were in a Nissan hut at the other end of the site that which we occupy, and that was destroyed in the hurricane. And we've gradually built up um, the, the uh, hut to the state it's in now. So this is this has been built up over thirty years. About twenty five in 20, this place. Twenty five in so all these layouts here. Yeah. Um, about membership. I mean, how, how has the community here changed? We sort of vary between 50 and 60. But do people come and go or are there yeah, a lot people, of constant yeah, people? We, what tends to happen is you get the younger members come along and then they have other interests, have families and sometimes they come back many years later. So. I imagine it's got to a point where you all know each other quite well now. Yeah, there's quite a few um, friends that I've made in the club and other people have made friends that uh, you do things outside the club with. After watching the club work a little, it was, in classical English fashion, time for some tea. The club sell tea and snacks as a way of getting a little extra funding for club activities. It's not just trains either, air fix. While there are many seasoned, long-standing members still attending, there are also some younger modelers in the mix. These are the junior members, which form a minority in the club. The club have been accepting junior members since their beginnings, but they have recently given the juniors a layout of their own. The older members are hoping it will develop their skills and confidence in modelling, as they are in many ways the future of the club. Um, do you find that there's many other people your age who like uh, modelling trains? I think there's like a lessening amount of people at my age who do it. So, I mean, there's people who have an interest in it, but it's more, you know, their parents who were into it when they were younger, and now I think almost a computer generation have taken over the, 
mm. whole idea was a model railway. I had a bit of parental input into the whole thing. I mean, my father was very interested in model railways before me. Um, however, I've always been interested in trains as a kid. My grandmother used to take me up to the local station. We used to watch trains go by. How much of it would you say is your work as juniors? The majority of it is work with juniors. Just the only bit of the boards that aren't there, just the bomb bits that are made for us. But we constructed it, so. Yeah. And it's, it's nearly complete. And ready to uh, the bottom's basically complete because it's two levels. We need to do the top. We've just got to basically just finish off all the wire and get all the power done and then put all the scenery on it. And then... But it's ready to run soon. Um, you could say soon, but it's been a slow process going, so we were hoping to have it finished by this exhibition so that target didn't really get met. Have you ever tried to get anyone else into, into trains? Um, a few of my friends I've tried, yeah. Um, usually that have kind of almost a little passion for it, you know, they bought model railway set when they were younger. Um, they've run it once or twice. Um, however, I think it's you have almost two types of modelling. You have the lower end modelling, almost like the Hornby as the set here is. And then you have this larger detailed modelling of digital and, you know, your point motors, everything like that. It can get really complex. I think that puts many people off of this almost club-styled modelling where it gets really complex, opposed to just the entertainment aspect of controlling trains going around a track. So we're trying to fit it as ra around as many junior members as possible. So different ideas and we build, build the ideas in. So sort of my idea was a modern terminal station because... The majority of my locos and rolling stock is modern passenger services. So that's where the idea of a modern terminus came in. And then, for example, some of the others have got steam locos and all that. So that's more what the bottom's for. It might be better for juniors because they're used to modern passenger stuff more than yeah, steam. I, you might be surprised, but um, quite a few of our members, same age as me, like um, do like steam stock. So... It's a mixture, which is a good thing. So we see different locos on the layout, which is a good thing. I've taken a bit of a trip back to my childhood and uh, got on my old model trains. We're going to run it round on some of the club's layouts. And I'm going to learn a little bit more about how you control trains. Let's get started. Gonna duck under here. Can you uh, can you help me? I've got my train here. You have a train? Yeah, I bought a train and I want to run it on your oh. layout. So yeah, I think I was shown last week how you kind of do this, but no. let's just start with one carriage, just to be absolutely. Uh -huh. That's true. Oh, yeah. And then we... Aha! Here we go! It's moving. Slowly, but it's moving. I'm really starting to understand the, uh, the joy of trains. Even more than I already did. How much club time would you say is wasted just running things round? <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> Quite a lot of time. There's a lot of just, hey, I want to see my train run around a bit. Yeah. Oh, maybe ten more minutes. Yeah. Oh, maybe a few more loops. See you up. Nope. <laughs> it's that sort of. I'm going to stop running. There's no one else here. I'm going to keep on running. <laughs> Uh, you've got the you've got the show in Horsham coming up. Yeah, I imagine that's quite a big challenge for the the club to put together. We've been doing it for a number of years now, so it's pretty well um, rehearsed. 
but, things we go through to put it on. So, but there is a lot of work that goes into it. Well, there's a lot of organisation goes on. Almost 18 months before the next show, you've started planning, getting layouts booked, stuff like that. Yeah. It's not 75, it's a 57. I don't really care. It's a 57. It's a diesel. 57. It's a diesel. It's not a steam engine. Not mine. If this isn't my fault, then. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There we go, go for it. No, wait, wait. It's alright, I've got going on it. There you go. Well, hey. Oh, so it works. Track board. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, Ben. You're on both, Ben. One point needs switching, Mike. The far one. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. Right. How do you feel about yeah. finally getting it running? Of course, I think about it. So you've now got the quality of it. It's absolutely thrilling. Just wonderful they've actually got this to work the first time. No. It's fantastic. The day of the club's show in Horsham has finally arrived. I am here to help them get all their layouts set up so they can show all the visitors here what they have built. Despite being a big undertaking, the club are quite used to it by now. Despite this, it's very important they organise it properly, as it's their number one chance to show their skills to the public in order to attract new members. Uh, no, I agree. No. Oh. I don't See how far you can go back. I'm out. Going, going, going. Backstop nose day. That's just about nice. <laughs> right, so uh, I understand you've got uh, the trains running through this phone. Here. Yeah, so what I'm basically doing is get the camera in, you can have a look as well. As you can see, I'm gonna select the train so you can see the train up on the on the line up there, so as I know that is my train, I can change that to my train, and I just click as it comes in set. So I've now changed it to that train. As you can see, the lights have come on. Yep. So I'm going to go to my like, little throttle area. And as you can see, I've just clicked forward, so it's going to come this way. And yep. the lights have all switched to this And then way. you turn this up. Basically, and do that. And, and it begins to move. Throttle moves it. So we'll run it into here, and I can just easily stop it, start it. If it had sound, I could do horns, different kinds of things. And then what I can do from this control is I can switch the points instead of having to go underneath and flicking them myself. So, uh -huh. so is this easier than just using the... It's a lot easier. It, yes, we're using two different things, but instead of changing the boards, it's just easy to do from there. Do you, uh, do you think this will impress people who come to... See the well, it's a new thing because not you don't yeah. see many people using yeah. a phone well, to control the, the train, it so it's sort of the next step. big thing. And then where the, the gap yeah, so it as he's moving the loco back, you can move it in, and it'll probably just say slow or fast or just keep going. Take it back because I went over the point. So. Would you say it's more of a help or a hindrance to have new people at the club? Oh, it's a great help. Because on the one hand, on the one hand, you've got no, hands, but on the other hand, you've got to teach them how to do stuff. That's the fun of it, though. I guess this is the main way you'd you'd attract new members. That's why. Oh yeah, that's just showing do. something that the club has brought together an idea that juniors create a layout, and it shows that the club is working with its junior members as well, which will attract more junior members to come and join. Yeah, and you're showing. Yes, people might say Model Railways is for the older generation, but as you can see, us five, us five that are around here now. Yeah, we it's all your enjoy baby. It as well, this is what is attracting us to be Model Railway. It's friends. your baby. Really, and you're trying to present it as your baby. You could say it like that, yeah. Because, like, you know, you've got the electronics there, you say, we did this, we made all this. But the thing is, we've had help from the older people. Yeah, of course, but. So, 
but that's the thing. As yo- as the younger members, as we grow, up, our skills improve, and then as it moves on, we'll be able to teach new junior members and so on. Well, I'm so sure. On. I'm sure if you were a junior looking to join, you'd want to help. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah because you, you need to, you know, figure out how everything works. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like that's the other the ones thing, here. That's the thing I don't see as often. I don't. See, I, I might go to an exhibition, but I just see old generation ground between us. But if you've got someone like us, I, 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 I very rarely see the fact that you see five, four or five junior members sat behind that with no adults helping them. So it's, it shows the fact that we've done this ourselves. You don't, so you don't see other clubs doing the same thing as you? You not, don't see them pushing... Not presenting at exhibitions, no. They might do it at their club. But you don't see good. them actively pushing for junior no, members. No. It doesn't seem that way. That, I, I, I'd really like to see that happen. Do you anticipate having any new members after this or, or not? We didn't from last year. Maybe uh, it, it depends. Like depends, yeah. Yeah. Depends on how, by the age, really. Depends on... I haven't seen like the ages of like 13, 14 people around here, so, so I don't think the club takes many below a certain age. Mm, so you haven't really found the, the age range you're aiming for, really? Not yet, but we've still got tomorrow. So Well, I, I wish you good luck in your future endeavours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hope that, uh, hope that this layout will continue to grow and that you'll uh, get more members in the future. Thank you. And I must bid you all adieu now. Adieu. With the day nearly over, I said my goodbyes to the club and the juniors and I left for home. It's been an enlightening few weeks with the club, and I hope that their efforts over that time will not go to waste, and net them some enthusiastic new members. They've shown me there is no reason why young people can't get into this hobby and create great things, and also what an interesting bunch models are off the rails.